Hey guys, Steve here. Today is Friday, January 25th, 2019. I hope you're having a good week uh, as we head into the weekend. I um, have a few things to share with you. Some stuff that I've found, some I picked up, and I'll be opening some stuff that I've had for a while but never you know, really had the chance or wanted to open them, but I'm going to open them anyway. So um, I think you'll enjoy it. And then I'll show you uh, my new case cases, if you will, that I got. And so we'll take a look at that. Um, all right. So what should we? What do you want to see, guys? Let's start with Hot Wheels, I guess. Um, if I can get these in order here. Da, 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 da. Okay. So we're gonna go Hot Wheels, and then some Matchbox, I think, and some other mix of stuff. And we'll come back to Hot Wheels, and we'll come to the uh, display cases. So um, I guess the first thing I want to talk about is the the new. Uh, fast imports or Hot Wheels Premium, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I found a few more of these pieces. Uh, as you remember, the last time I shared with you, I think I shared with you the Nissan Silvia and the uh, the Lamborghini. So this, of course, is the the new. I want to call it the pop culture, but I don't think it's really the part of the pop culture line anymore. It's basically the um, Hot Wheels Premium Fast and the Furious, and. Uh, I finally found these two pieces, the Nissan Skyline GTR, the R34, which is uh, number one here, and the uh, number three car, the 1974 Escort R1600. So let's go ahead and open up the Skyline. Um, and as I mentioned in the last video, this is of course the the line, the series that you know I think we've all been waiting for. We've been seeing the Walmart dollar. Fast and Furious sets, um, you know, pretty pretty nice cars, but um, we've always wanted them in real riders with metal bases, and we finally got them. So here is the R34. Um, they've done this particular casting and deco. They've done two, I think, two previous um, regular dollar mainline uh, releases. One with a plastic wing. I think that was the original one. And the second one was finally the metal wing. They switched the metal wing. And of course, this one here is a little bit more of a premium, um, hence the cost. Uh, you got the real riders. Um, I like these rims and the tires, as well as, of course, the metal base. In this case, it's a black base. But uh, there you go. Okay, so I found this at Target, I believe. I think it was a Target. Might have been Walmart. Can't remember. It's been a while. Okay. Uh, and of course, here's the Ford Escort RS1600. Open this one up. Uh, again, I think there's been one, maybe two of these releases as well uh, in the dollar mainline um, release. So here is, of course, the real rider version with um, metal base. Interesting uh, wheel choice here, I think. But uh, still, they did a nice job on this one. Okay. So, I finally have, uh, what, I have um, four of the five. The last one I'm still trying to track down is, of course, the black R32. So, um, I've been checking my target recently and still I'm waiting to see if I can find that. So, um, once I get that, I'll hopefully I'll share with that with you. Okay. All right. Uh, other Hot Wheels, I um, actually found this one today. I uh, found this one this morning at Target. Um, I finally found the 2019 C-Case Super Treasure Hunt. It's the Corvette Grand Roadster. Um, not really my favorite casting, but I will say that they did a really nice job on this one. Um, I like the color. The color is great. It's kind of a yes, mustard yellow. A nice paint job, obviously. And they actually chose some pretty nice wheels on this. Um, they actually fit it pretty well, so the Goodyear tires, the real riders, and the rims there. So, did a nice job on this one. Um, the card's not in great shape, so I'm going to go ahead and open it anyway. So you can take a look. And this is my second, I think, um, Super Treasure Hunt for 2019. But yeah, they did a really nice... I like this paint, actually. Did a really, pretty nice job on this one. Okay. All right. Mr. Rulers. Okay. Um, other Hot Wheels. So the net latest Hot Wheels that are hitting 
a target um, maybe one case here and there um, I don't even know what this this I want to in my mind if you look at some of the previous releases I want to call this the de you know a decades release I don't know if it says on here uh, da -da -da -da. yeah they don't really have a name for this but uh, I, I, it's very similar to the decades so um, pick up these these three pieces um, out of uh, eight piece set so uh, let's see what order these are in. Yeah, okay, so uh, this is number one. This is the uh, 60s decade. Uh, this is the Morris Mini. And um, just like the last one or two versions of this, they got rid of the pop top, pop off bodies, excuse me. So it's a solid body. Um, so there you go. Uh, I got this one only because I do collect minis and the Morris Minis. So, peace of love, man. Let's get the peace sign on the roof there okay so I'll add that to the mini collection um, this is pretty nice I like the color on this one this is the car uh, car number three the custom Datsun 240Z um, really like the color on this one Did a nice job got my turquoise aquamarine seafoam green I don't know however you want to call it but uh, yeah, did a nice job on that, number 72. Okay. And the last one in the set that I was really only interested in is uh, car number 6. Uh, and this is, of course, the BMW E36 M3 Race. From the 90s. <clears throat> So this, of course, will go into the BMW display case. Okay. And the other ones from this particular uh, series, we have uh, the 65 Ford Mustang, um, the 86 Monte Carlo SS, the 85 Honda City Turbo 2 um, and the Bone Shaker. I haven't seen any any of these other ones in the stores, and the only one I did see is the the Cadillac uh, El Mirage. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm guessing. So that's the AP set to this um, decades type release. Okay. All right. Um, so let's talk about Matchbox. So Matchbox. Um, I found this one, new one, new release. Uh, this is the uh, Mercedes-Benz Unimog U300 mainline. Um, so it's recolored in red. Cool piece, I think. Always like the Unimogs. A little trailer hitch there. Okay. And the next pieces I have here, I um, actually found these, um, haven't seen these anywhere, and of all the places that I found these at, was uh, actually Michael's. They were 80% off, and so I was able to get these for 60 cents a piece. Um, this, of course, is the new Matchbox Moving Parts release. Um, I don't know how many are in this release, but uh, this is what I grabbed. Um, this is what I was able to find at Michael's. So this is the 65 VW Type 3 Fastback. And as you can see, it has an opening doors on this one. I'll open this one up. I have not seen these in stores anywhere. Um, I think um, a couple folks in my area has, has found them. Or maybe in um, Walmart, but pretty cool piece. Interesting selection of castings. Um, these castings aren't really into my favorite on this release, but um, this is a cool piece. I like this one. It's very has a very vintage matchbox um, looking too. It's got kind of that bluish green tinted window there. So they did actually a nice job on this one. Okay. Uh, another one I have here. I'm not going to open the this one because uh, this is for a buddy of mine. This is a '64 Pontiac Grand Prix uh, in purple metallic with opening doors. Okay, that's from my buddy Chris. And then I found a couple of these. This is the 2000 Nissan Xterra 
and it's got an opening back hatch. Metal body, plastic base. I honestly would, I was honestly, because I'm not a huge fan of these castings, I honestly probably would not have bought these. Um, other than the fact that they, like I say, I got them for 60 cents a piece. Um, so, um, so yeah, you, how the heck are you supposed to open the door? Okay. Not the easiest to open, but there you go. And that's as far as that one opens, apparently. So, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's got stuff in the back of the trunk. Looks like a couple of backpacks, sleeping bags, um, other camping gear. But there you go. Okay. So those are a couple of the new opening door, opening, moving parts, and um, matchbox. Um, let's see, what are we going to do next? Let's talk about uh, some other brands, golf stuff. Hey, I can't do a video without golf stuff, right? Um, so, a couple new pieces I got. We have here, um, these are Racing Champions. Uh, I didn't even know these existed until I saw them on eBay, but this is Racing Champions um, Mint, I guess they call it. Um, both of these are a 1959 Ford F-250 pickup truck. Um, we got version A on the left-hand side and version B, and as you can see, uh, they're limited to, to 3,200 pieces. If you can see that there. And uh, this will go into the golf case as well, which I'll show you in just a few moments. So we'll go ahead and open these here for now. Uh, oh, cool. These have uh, opening pieces as well. We've got the opening hood. I think it's got an opening hood. Yeah, opening hood. And the tailgate opens. I didn't know that part. So very cool. And of course the golf racing deco, the light sky blue and orange. All right. All right, and then of course we got it rolls pretty good too. And of course we got the version B, which is the a little bit older golf colors of the dark blue and the orange, with some hints of sky blue. going to guess that this too, which doesn't look, it does look like, that it too has um, an opening hood, as well as an opening tailgate. So that's the other golf version. And I mentioned this before on my videos, but uh, I will say that the Gajani Lightning stuff has um, has been very intriguing. I, I really like the quality, um, the details on these. Um, I'm starting to like these. I still like my green machines, but uh, I'm still really like. As far as the main line is concerned, I'm still um, I'm starting to like these very much. Um, so I'm kind of torn between whether do I want to stop collecting green light and switch to Johnny Lightning. I don't know. Everyone you talk to says you know, Johnny Lightning is better. Um, but I also know a lot, of, a lot of people say that M2 is better. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of M2. Um, I kind of rate them at the bottom right now based on the quality that I've seen lately. And the, and the scale and all that, they just don't, they look a little bit oversized personally. But, you know, it is, it is by preference. So, okay. So there's the pickup truck. All right. Um, and the last golf I have to share with you um, is an Auto World. So this is the Auto World Vintage Muscle. It's a 65 Ford GT40 um, Golf. You can see a little Golf um, logo there, and on the hood, of course, in a minute. Limited to 4,680 pieces, and according to this card, it's version B. Okay, so Premium Series Release Four. Um, I do like the Auto Worlds, um, as I mentioned before. The only thing I hate about Auto Worlds or Auto World themselves is the distribution. They seem to have a crappy distribution. I mean, it's very rare that we see in my area that we even see brand new um, Auto World releases. Um, so they're nice cars. They, I think they're very nice quality, very detailed. 
they just they don't they don't pump them out as fast or as much as they do as as um, you know which as as green light or um, John and Lightning or even M2 it's very rare we see in this area um, you know a variety of, of auto world stuff um, it almost looks like doors open but they don't but this is actually a very nice piece um, auto world's done a very nice job on their golf GT stuff and this sort of is no exception So there you go, that'll get added to the case, which I'll show you in a minute. All right, um, oh, I have one more golf piece. I, uh, so everyone tells me, oh, you gotta check, you know, my vast golf collection, everyone says you gotta check out the tarmac. Tarmac works, so I was able to find um, this particular piece. To, you know, some of the older tarmac work pieces are really expensive, um, more than I, than I can afford right now, particularly for the size of the car. But I was able to find this one on eBay. This is a Tarmac Works uh, 164th Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X uh, Rally Finland 2010. Um, they did a really nice job on it. Um, I like the case, I like the, the base of it. So you can see here, um, it's got the same information has got the the driver name on there too so they didn't this is a really nice piece very detailed as you can see here so let me put it on here so you can get a better more accurate view here so very detailed um, I gotta decide how I want to display this do I want to take it off the base and put it in the case or do I want to leave it as is um, but yeah, not bad for for 164 scale. What do you think? Okay, so I'll see if I can grab some more uh, tarmac stuff. We'll see what's available at what cost. But there you go. All right, moving on uh, real quick. Johnny Lightning. I actually found this. It's an older release, but I found this Johnny Lightning hanging on the pegs at Walmart. Um, this is a Johnny Lightning uh, Classic Gold Collection. Uh, 2016 so that tells you how old it's been it is um, series 4 it's an 81 Jeep Wrangler and it is, is uh, excuse me Wagoneer and as you can see it is a white lightning um, now this was this is from the same release as the VW convertible bug I would have loved to have found that one but you know it is what it is um, you know it's uh, yeah older piece white lightning so pretty cool Okay. Probably like my fourth or fifth white line never found in the wild. Okay. Alright. Last pieces I want to share with you um, are pieces I've had for a while. Um, you know, it's, it's pieces, the Hot Wheels pieces that I was going to hold on to and keep carded. But you know what? With all as much stuff as this display, I decided I'm going to go ahead and open up anyway and enjoy them. I'm not going to really sell them. So I got a whole bunch of, I have this one Thunder Roller and the rest of them are custom convoys. And so I'm going to open them. So here we are. This is, um, see it's a Hot Wheels collector's piece. It's a, actually a 2004 selection series. It's a Thunder Roller and red, white, and blue. Almost kind of looks like the USPS um, colors. I say this was limited to 6,490 pieces, and this is number 1,572. Nice thing about the fun Thunder Roller is they're super heavy. Nice weight on these things. Very nice quality, detail, um, great looking pieces. So if you like trucks, um, my favorite are, are between the Thunder Roller and the Convoy Customs. So here it is. Put it on the case here. It's got the Neos, but man, this is a really nice piece. Nice and shiny. Okay. And usually they roll pretty, pretty smoothly too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Next, we got. Convoy Customs. I got six of these, seven of these. So this is Convoy Custom. It is, I don't know even know what release it is, but uh, it is an R Red Line Club piece. It's uh, limited to 5,000, 5, excuse me, 5,597 pieces. This is number 3,924.
Convoy Customs usually roll really nice as well. But all, all the big, big heavy trucks roll nice because because of the weight. So, but uh, this is a very cool piece. Great color as well, red, white, and red, white, and blue, and the chrome. Okay. Uh, see so your next piece, um, Hot Wheels Convoy Custom. This is the Hot Wheels um, Slick Rides. I guess that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? So, uh, got the real riders. And as you can see, it's in the Pennzoil um, deco. So, I'll get out of the case here. Another nice piece. Did a good job on this one, I think. Okay. Next. Uh, same line. A little bit different Pennzoil with chrome, though. Okay. Oops, sorry. So we've got the brushed uh, metal, or brushed aluminum, whatever you want to call it, versus the chrome. Okay, another nice piece there. These pieces look really nice with the real riders as well as the Neos. Um, I, I prefer the real riders, but. Uh, um, but the Neos, man, they roll so pretty smoothly, okay? Um, next we got, um, oh, Hot Wheels Classics Series 5, Convoy Custom, Larry's Garage. And of course, I'm going to have to find some kind of space in my cases for all these. This is with, um, here we go. Um, I don't know what color this is. Uh, it kind of looks like black, depending on, or actually looks purple, depending on what, uh, when you, you know, how you hold it against the light. You know, and directly against the light, it looks like it's a dark, dark purple. Nice piece. Okay. Uh, okay, we got the Hot Wheels Classics here in blue. And that one's just coming off the blister already anyway, so. Got the blue. Larry's garage as well. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. There you go. Yeah, these are nice pieces. Been a while since we've seen Convoy Custom or Thunder Roll in, in any kind of release. So hopefully we'll see some more.